Praise the Lord. Good morning. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And it is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord that everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As it always is, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome today isn't that great isn't that mighty isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with his children in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every in every decision making he says a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come neither dwelling welcome this morning let's give a big hand welcome this morning those of you who are listening to me from your living room from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street with your phone in church, or right here this morning, on this Wednesday morning, God bless you richly, sincerely from my heart, I release a blessing upon your life, I release a blessing upon a good friend of mine today, who have a sales auto body workshop, yes, or a spark, Spark pay, spare part shop, and I release a thousand fold blessing upon that man on the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I pray this morning sincerely from my heart that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, yes, educationally, every area of your life that you will prosper. I pray and let me break it down today. I pray that God will bless your homes, God will bless. God will bless your marriage, God will bless your children, God will bless your finances, God will bless your business and prosper your business and expand your business. I pray that God will bless you on the job, that you will get favor on the job and you will get a promotion on the job in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give him a big hand to me. Yes, my friends, I cover every one of God's children under the precious blood of Jesus. And I build a hedge around your life today. I build a hedge in the mighty name of Jesus. For the blood of Jesus is so efficacious. And the blood of Jesus is so powerful. The blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter. And every evil and every work of darkness. This morning every spirit of witchcraft, phobia, demonic forces, evil blights, generational curses that come against your life. I destroy under the precious blood of Jesus where the fourth, second, third, or fourth generational curses that come against your life. I destroy under the precious blood. I break every chain. I break every barrier. I break every fetter. I break every evil. I break every work of darkness. For whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free this morning. Let's give him a big hand in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my friends, you are free in the mighty name of Jesus. God says in his words, he says, healing is the children's bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. Yes, for he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, I'm healed. You are healed. We are healed in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand today. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. But let's not forget today, my friends. God also said in his words, The thief cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy like what he did to Job. Yes, the thief is the devil, a robber, and a cheat, and a liar from the beginning. But my friends, God promised to be with us in every situation. This morning, I do not know what is your situation. The devil wants to rob you of your health. He wants to rob you of your strength. He wants to cut you off before your time. He wants to rob you in your finances. He wants to destroy your business and harm you in so many ways. But I destroy his works right now in the name of Jesus. And I seal everyone under the blood. Yes, my friends, those who are sick this morning, 
I know many are sick all across the world. Whether you're listening to me this morning from the USA, the UK, Canada, the Caribbean, or any part of this world, my friends, today have hope and faith. Today is your day for a miracle. Today is your day for healing. Today is your day for deliverance. Yes, my friends, God will touch you and heal you and set you free this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. You will receive a miracle from the hands of God. You will be completely healed no matter how, how bad is the sickness. I do not care what is the magnitude of your sicknesses and disease this morning, my friends. But I'm here to tell you that whatever the sickness is today, that you will not die, but you will live. You will live to fulfill purpose and calling and destiny because God has not finished with you as yet. You will not die prematurely. You will not die before your time because your work and order has not finished and you will live. I do not care what is a sickness today, whether the cancer has borne out your whole inside, whether the cancer has spread into your whole inside and you're the last stage of cancer and the doctor says they give me your family a bill and a report that there is no hope and there is no cure for you he says go home and eat all you can you only have a few days or a few weeks to live yes my friends you will not die yes God will work a miracle for you today those of you who have drank so much alcohol that your liver has swinged up and dried up and the doctors have given you up and you are going to die bed waiting to hit the bucket but my friends this morning God gonna give you a second chance he always a God of a second chance he gonna give you a second chance today and you will not die he gonna give you a brand new liver yes my friends those of you kidneys have shut down today and both kidneys have shut down you're here in the hospitals for a very long period of time waiting for somebody to donate the right kidney to you but my friends for the doctors to do the transplant but no one is coming up with the kidneys and you're at a stage of death my friends don't worry today is your day for a miracle you will live and not die yes whatever sickness you have today whatever pain you have today if you have prostate cancer what the case God's gonna born out that sickness and disease God gonna make you whole today whether you, you have diabetes God gonna touch your blood and set your blood in order whatever the case may be today you say prophet what are you saying today let me tell you what I'm saying and the God who formed man out of dust and breathed in his nostrils and man became a living soul. He knew all your organs. He formed every part of your body. It's no big thing for him today to give you a new organ or a new tissue, my friends. It's a piece of cake for him. And if you're feeling the power of God right now, if you're feeling a burning in your body, it's God, the Holy Spirit is already at work. I can feel a tremendous anointing of God, the Holy Spirit spirit and I know that God is working a miracle right now in the name of Jesus for somebody and many people God is working a miracle today is your day do not give up right now in the name of Jesus those of you are suffering with a migraine headache it's a demon it's a spirit that spirit gonna leave right now in the name of Jesus that spirit are leaving right now in the name of Jesus those of you who are sick you're sick today and you you're, you're sick with depression it's a spirit of depression I command to go in the name of Jesus that spirit of oppression I command to go in the name of Jesus that spirit of anxiety that anxiety spirit that is plaguing many for so many years I command and that spirit of anxiety to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, those who are suffering with arthritis pain all over the joints in your body. The pain is so much that no pain killer can help you. Those pains are leaving your body right now in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are suffering with a mental sickness. 
Your doctors have given you a mad certificate and says you are mad. Your brains has messed up. Today, God will not do a miracle. He's going to give you a brand new brains. He's touching you right now and healing your brains. And you will no longer need to drink a pill any longer because God is changing your life. God is giving you back your mental health today. Yes, so that you will walk in sanity and good health. My friends, in the name of Jesus, let's give him a Big hand this morning. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. I can feel the power of the anointing, and I know the work have already started. And I haven't started preaching as yet. Yes, my friends, God, the Holy Spirit is working already. Father God, this morning I pray that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Anoint mortal lips of clay. Anoint my lips. Anoint my tongue. Anoint my voice. Anoint my mental faculties. And my thought process i pray god you heal my body from every virus every sickness every germs every disease every infirmities every evil and every work of darkness as i minister your words this morning your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the holy spirit that many will be healed many will we save, many will be blessed, many will be deliver, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Yes, my friends, for God has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to set the captives free, to heal the sick and raise the dead and make the lame walk and blind see and perform the miraculous and wherever you listening to me from around the world today today is your day for a miracle today is your day for for healing today is your day for salvation today is your day for deliverance in jesus name all you need my friends is just a little faith as a grain of mustard seed and if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed you shall say to the mountains be thou removed and cast henceforth into the sea and it will obey you today my friends yes my friends god will not touch you and heal you yes heal you and set you free right now i feel that presence of the healing anointing i'm going to send forth i know god says in his words we as preachers must lay hands on the sick and they shall recover but god is not limited to that today there is no respect and buyers where prayer is concerned my friends today i'm going to send for the anointing prepare to receive your miracle in a few seconds right now in the name of jesus be Heal in the name of Jesus. Be set free with the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed. Many are saved from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease. I see demons are leaving people's lives right now. Yes, demons are leaving your body right now in the name of Jesus. I command those tormented demons to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Those demons are leaving. They will not come back to torment you again. Yes, but ask, make sure you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And be filled with the Holy Spirit uh, so those demons cannot come back uh, with more and possess your body in the name of Jesus. Uh, I see people being healed from all manner of sicknesses. Uh, the lame are walking, the blind are seeing, the dumb hearing, the deaf talking, the dumb dumb are dumb talking, and the deaf are hearing. My friends, today God is working miracles yes all manner of healing taking place people are being released from depression oppression frustration anxiety yes what is it kids sickness today people are being healed from aids and covid yes diabetes heart problem liver problem lungs problem kidney problem all manner of sicknesses it's the power of god of the holy spirit my friends let the doctors check you that sickness and disease on to death is gone. Give him a big hand this morning. Write me, text me, call me, and let me know, my friends, what God is doing for you. It's sad to what the prophet announced today. My friends, that over 5 billion people in this world are heading for the pits of hell because of wanting the eyes, the eyes, 
to the my friends what what is the ultimate cure ultimate cure for lost today the lost of the eyes the lost of the eyes in the world my friends the world governments even in the superpower needs to change their dress code today how the women are dressing and how the men are dressing today yes my friends I want to commend the Muslim women women for dressing so decent yes all across the world over 90% of the Muslim women are dressing on the right way that God wants them to dress and that's the right way my friends I'm gonna tell you why the lust of the eyes are causing over 5 billion people to end up in the pits so of hell. America is a bad example to the world and it only has about 320 million people but it's a very bad example yes to the world today my friends but the ultimate cure to loss today the lust of the eyes I want to speak of it today my friends the ultimate cure for the lust of the eyes today, the lust the, of the human nature is cut, is corrupted by loss. The fall of man has prevented, perverted the way we are, we are, the things we desire, my friends. Sin corrupts, sin distorts today, sin change the very nature of mankind. Yes, my friends and beloved, this is why loss, loss is much a, a major problem for mankind today, you know world and if there is any sin that is plaguing mankind that, that has destroyed many lives my friends today is still destroying lives in our world today it is lost lost ephesians chapter 4 verse 22 tells us Yes, my friends, that uh, you put off concerning your former conduct. Yes, uh, the old man which is, which grows corrupt uh, according to the deceitful loss. Yes, my friends and beloved, loss is deceptive today. Yes, friends, uh, it is uncontrollable. Evil desires and loss, uh, my friends, uh, shows itself in uncontrollable passion today all across the world. Time and time again, the Bible gives example after example of how loss carries people lives in the path of destruction and how it can dedicate the very decisions an individual can make my friends how it how is less stimulated loss is stimulated by the eyes I see loss is stimulated by the eyes Job chapter 31 verse 1 I have made a covenant with my eyes why then shall I think upon a maid Job says I force force John 2 16 again it says my friends for all that is in the world yes all that is in the world the loss of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the, and the lust of the eyes the pride of life is not of the father but of this, of this world today my friends loss is stimulated loss my friends is stimulated by what men and women see with their eyes today if you have a problem with loss today the loss of the eyes you have a problem with your eyes if you have a problem with watching on holy things yes on the internet you have a problem with your eyes today my friends what Job was communicating is that he had made a covenant with his eyes not to look at the nakedness of a maid let let alone allow the thoughts to infiltrate his heart Yes, my friends, Joe knew something that we don't know today. And that is our eyes are the problem. Our eyes are the problem. Do you know what this tells me as a believer today, my friends? Do you know what it tell me as as a believer today, my friends, in our world today, the dress code has changed. People, young ladies, are hardly wearing any clothes, enticing the young men on the streets and wherever they go. The way they're dressing, they're causing men, men to sin with their eyes and leading them to a lost eternity. Both gender, male and female, are living corrupt lives because of the dress code in our world today. Believers tell this me as a believer. It is not true today, my friends. We need to be very careful. A few days ago, 
I see in the internet only two days ago, there was a young woman, a young, beautiful, young African woman went into a church for a funeral and she had no bra on, just almost a piece of tin cloth in front of the tin same thing you can see through and the pastor put out or put her out of the church the women are going so low today almost walking naked and that is the farthest step my friends that's terrible everyone in the church was distracted and the pastor came down from the pulpit and put her out of the church yes my friends it's terrible what is happening all across the world and i says i'm going to preach this message this morning my friends as a Christian, there are certain things I cannot watch. Yes, there are certain places I cannot go. Yes, my friends, there are TV shows, movies, websites that I cannot watch or go on, my friends. Yes, it is important to remember, remember that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, which I speak about yesterday. Therefore, you are to treat your body as a temple. Temple, those same eyes that you are reading God's holy word are the same eyes that you are using to watch on holy things on the internet. Those same eyes that you are using to study scripture are the same eyes you are using to fulfill your lustful desires. This, my friends, is wrong today. Yes, 1 First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. What know, know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of, of which ye have of God, and ye are not your own today when you're born again with the Spirit of God, for you are bought with the price. Therefore, my friends, glorify God in your body and in your spirit. <coughs> which are God's today, my friends, honor the temple of God today. Yes, the temple which is your body, the people who create those unholy videos that you watch when you are alone, remember, remember that it is someone's child that is someone's mother, yes, and it's someone's sister, that, that someone's daughter today, my friends. In this porn video, you won't be comfortable if you say your sister or loved ones was producing that type of unholy video for money. You won't be happy <coughs> about it, my friends. And some may disregard this message this morning and say as long as it is not uh, my sister or oh, my loved ones, it doesn't really bother me. But my friends, if you have this attitude today, yes, you need to question whether or not you are a Christian or a child of God. A Christian is not cold-hearted towards the fellow man. Have compassion today towards your fellow man. Yes, my friends, now back to the issue of, of the eyes. Allow us to take a look this morning at the Gordon King. My friends, Second Samuel chapter 11 verse 2 tells us, and it came to pass in an evening time that David arose from off his bed, that's King David, and walked up upon the roof of his king's house, and from the roof he saw a woman washing herself, and the woman was very beautiful to look upon. Yes, my friends, when David saw Bathsheba, yes, he could have concluded it was a mistake at once and retired to his chamber. Yes, but David didn't stop there, my friends. He continued looking because Bathsheba was a very beautiful woman. Yes, and she was very beautiful to look upon. Yes, my friends, and that's right. There is loss. There is loss. The loss in him was fed by what his eyes saw. His eyes saw. He continued to look, he come to look and look and look, my friends, and and look. He look until he called for her. He called for her. David lay with her, my friends, but it didn't end there. 
He didn't endure this single act of indiscipline. Led David to another sin. It's another sin that he paid dearly for. My friends, he lied, he plotted and schemed. He plotted and schemed and even more a man because of loss yes and that is the thing you need to understand about loss yes my friends loss does not end there loss my friends has a unique ability to drag you deeper deeper than you plan to go yes my friends that is loss loss has unique ability to take you to places you never planned your thought you will be today yes that one act of looking eventually my friends led him to murder yes loss loss and for one year David did not walk with God. Yes, God's spirit has left him. How could looking for murder? This is my point this morning. This is my point, my friends. Loss will make a person do things they had never even planned, my friends, to do today. Loss, my friends, will make a person act outside their character. Yes, my friends, I've seen people who have had their lives ruined, ruined by loss. Yes, my friends, they look around and generally wonder, how did I get there? How did I get there? How on earth did my life end up like this? Yes, my friends, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18, please play sexual immorality. Every, every sin, every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality, yes, sin against his own body, my friends, sin against his own body. There are things that the Bible tells us to fight, fight and there are are things you are told to flee and run away from today my friends and what I've come to realize is the these people who lose the battle against loss and porn and pornography for these two reasons one they are not controlling their eyes number two they are trying to fight something God told them to run away from my friends today in 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 tells us flee also youthful loss for but follow righteousness faith charity it says peace peace with them that call on the lord yes my friends out of the pure heart today my friends now allow me to give you some practical examples this morning of the difference the difference between fleeing loss and fighting loss today an example of fighting loss yes is two people counting one another for quoting one another for marriage and they choose to spend time together in an empty house with just the two of them they're trusting they're trusting in their own ability to fight loss yes trusting in their own self-control yes my friends to be strong enough to fight loss tonight to, to this afternoon i want to tell you for example of fleeing loss is two people courting one another for marriage and they choose to spend time together but uh, rather than being alone just the two of them they have a chaperone who will hold back hold them accountable accountable my friends a part of fleeing lost today is not putting yourself in situations where you may be forced to loss avoid compromising situations sometimes my friends compromising situations will just present themselves but you should not go out looking to put yourself in these situations yes my friends if you put yourself in the situation where you have to make a decision by default my friends you are making a good decision today my friends no God just inject something in my spirit and I have to change course for a minute or two but I want to tell you my friends the, the days we need to remember the days of Noah in the days of Noah man was so wicked upon the face of the earth the wickedness of men was terrible in the days of Noah and God destroyed them with the flood 
in the days of Solomon Gomorrah, wickedness was on rampant rampage in Solomon Gomorrah, and God destroyed them with fire and brimstone. And today, my friends, the prophet take a minute to tell you what God just spoke to me. He says, we are living in the days of Noah. We are living in the days of the Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, we are living in the days when the flood came and destroyed all mankind. We are living in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah where God rained fire and brimstone. We are living in the days of modern day Babylon where fire and brimstone will come very soon. Yes, God wants me to say that you are making a good decision today, my friends. If you follow the word of God and obey the word of God, if you constantly put yourself in a position where you have to make a decision, there is a chance you will make a wrong decision today. Take, for instance, my friends, a married man going to a nightclub. First of all, as a, a Christian, yes, a married man, you should not be going to a nightclub. Secondly, going to a nightclub is putting yourself in a compromising situation. Yes, when David saw Bathsheba, my friends, he was somewhere where he could he have been there. David should have been, been, been at a war with his men because he wasn't there. He was supposed to be. Yes, he found himself in a compromising situation. Yes, my friend, Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 22 tells us, flee also useful loss. Yes, but follow righteousness, faith and charity today. Peace with them. Peace with them that call upon the Lord out of a few heart today my friends isn't it interesting today that after Paul tells Timothy Paul tells Timothy to flee youthful loss he gives him a list of things to follow my friends therefore righteousness faith and charity and peace this morning this day my friends but what a lot of people forget to notice is that he instructs them to follow these things with a specific type of person he is to follow these things with them my friends that call on the Lord out of a pure heart a pure heart to overcome loss today you all will also have to choose good company today my friends so there are two directions one direction leads you to follow righteousness faith and charity peace peace and the the other direction leads you to follow loss. My friends, today the wrong company will lead you to loss. Yes, that is the company you are keeping today. Certain company makes it easy to loss. Certain company makes it easy to cheat on your husband or wife yes my friends all my friends cheat yes wine on me this is certain company makes it easy to fornicate all my friends are going to to do it why not me you're saying today certain company makes it easy to watch on holy things on the internet all my friends are doing it <clears throat> why not me today my friends two ways to defeat loss today and porn my friends one control your eyes control your eyes loss brings with your eyes it begins with your eyes fornication begins with your eyes adultery begins with your eyes yes my friends urge to what to want to watch on holy things on the internet begins begins with your eyes guard your eyes my friends if you see a beautiful man or a, a handsome man or a beautiful woman walking towards you when they don't look like David look and allow lust to grow you can indeed see that that someone is beautiful without lusting for them. Yes, my friends, guard your eyes. There are TV shows you should not watch. My friends, there is no need for TV shows. You have it live all over the streets. If you know that these TV shows will trigger you to want to watch immoral video on the internet, my friends, avoid them.
the number one position, the number one problem with loss and poor you need to deal with is, is, your, is your eyes today. And second, they are trying to fight something that God told them to run away from. Don't fight something God told you to run away from it, my friends. You attempt to fight loss and attempt to trust yourself today in your own self-control yes my friends you will lose you will lose better men and women that you have tried to fight loss and loss and each of them have lost yes my friends loss will destroy you if you will it will defeat you it will take you away it will take away your joy your happiness and money avoid compromising situation this day my friends what are you doing out at the nightclub where you are, what are you doing texting that person you find attractive who isn't your husband or wife yes my friends what are you doing meeting people up that person you find attractive who isn't your husband or wife yes my friends what are you doing putting yourself in vulnerable situations today keep good company keep good company keep a company that wants to follow righteousness my friends Faith and charity and peace. Yes, my friends, it has been a great joy today. But I need to tell you, you must be careful, my friends. The lost of the eyes, the lost of the eyes are leading over five billion people to the pits of hell. Our world is confused and corrupt. You no longer have to watch TV for the lost of the eyes. As you walk the streets, young women today are not degrading anyone but are walking the streets almost naked. They are wearing the type of clothes to allow men to sin with their eyes. It is the work of Satan. He is using his tactics to send billions and billions of souls to the pit of hell. He is using the dressing code of women that almost walking naked in our streets, in the mall, in the shopping area, wherever you go. The, the devil is using women to make men sin with their eyes and leading them to the pits of it all eternity and both gender male and female are heading there my friends as a prophet today God speak to me and told me over 5 billion people are heading because of the sins of the eyes are heading to the pit of hell but you can change the course of that lifestyle you're living today and turn to Jesus and let Jesus give you a spiritual eye so that you can walk in holiness and righteousness my friends today it has been a great joy and privilege to minister the word of God but before I leave this day my friends, I will have a few questions. Are you saved today? Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? God says in his words, he is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. My friends, almost 2,000 years ago, when Jesus Christ came upon this earth, he the gap between man and God that separates man from God. He died in my place and your place and our place that we can have life and life more abundantly. My friends, in, in this flesh, we cannot please God. When Nicodemus, who was a great teacher, was teaching in the temple and he met with Jesus and he says, Master, what must I do? to be saved and Jesus said to him unless a man be born again he cannot enter into the kingdom of God that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit and Nicodemus although he knew the Bible the book from cover to cover he did not understand he says master teacher do you mean to tell me I have to enter into my mother's womb the second time and Jesus said to him Nicodemus thou art a teacher of, 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 the, of the word of God and do not know these things he says that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit unless a man be born again spiritually he cannot enter into the kingdom of God my friends what I want to tell you today in 
this flesh, we cannot please God. That's why I preached on the Holy Spirit yesterday. We need God, the Holy Spirit, to live within us and to help us to live a pure and holy and righteous life so that when we pass from this life we will enter into heaven and eternal bliss with God Almighty my friends the choice is yours is your name written in the Lamb's book of life are you saved if not today my friends salvation is free Jesus said in his words come now and let us reason together saith the Lord though your sins be as scarlet it shall be white as snow though it be like crimson it shall be as wool my friends God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life salvation is a free gift salvation is free today accept Jesus Christ and be saved today my friends remember God give us a free choice the choice is yours and we all have a conscience and we know when we do the right things or the wrong things and we know where we're heading but you can change the course and make your salvation secure my friends it has been a joy and great privilege to be here this morning to minister the word of God sorry to be so harsh but my friends we need to know what is taking us to hell and what will take us to heaven because the devil is so cunning and using all the tactics to tear the world with him into the lake of fire to burn in fire and brimstone for all eternity my friends the lost of the eyes you need to understand what is the lost of the eyes today in Jesus name I trust that this message has been a blessing to your heart in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen I love you very much in the love of God do have a great and wonderful day in Jesus name amen and amen thank you Jesus praise God